How to have engaging conversations with a female. And we're gonna be going over several different techniques when you're asking questions to the other person as well as ways that you could be answering these questions to have more flavorful conversation to make any topic of conversation extremely interesting. The first thing that you should keep in mind whenever you're answering one of these questions or any question for that matter is that you do not only answer the question. Okay, that's the last thing you wanna do. So for example, if I'm in conversation with a girl and she were to ask me. What do you do for work? The last thing that I wanna do is just say the thing. So if I'm a computer engineer and she says, what do you do for work? I don't wanna say I'm a computer engineer because there's nothing to do from there. It, the conversation has died. I think one of the easiest ways that you can make this more flavorful is number one. Personal input. So if the girl were to ask me. What do you do for work? I think a better answer is, it's actually funny because ever since I was like 12 years old, I always loved building shit. Like I actually distinctly remember my mom, she bought me this Lego set, right? And, and she left me in the living room, she went in, she went in the kitchen to cook dinner and she always tells me the story, like 30 minutes later she came out with the food and she nearly like dropped the tray because I had built this like Lego fort in the, in the living room. She thought her son was like a childhood genius but really I was just like obsessed with like building shit. So I don't know, ever since I was really young, I just loved building and I, I don't know, I just like stayed with that passion through college and I ended up actually becoming an engineer. So notice how there I didn't just straight up say the answer, I actually gave a little bit of history about me leading up until my actual answer. There's a lot more things that she could talk about. So not only could you give a little bit of a story leading up to your answer, I think another great way to make the conversation fun and interesting is number two, which is, Teasing her and making her guess. Yeah, so instead of just straight up answering the question, the other thing is to not answer the question at all and actually tease her or make her guess whatever she thinks the answer may be. So I say typically ones that I would make the girl guess about is you could do the ethnicity, what's your zodiac sign, how old are you? Those are, those are three easy ones that I usually like to make the girls guess on or I'll tease her about. If the girl's like, how old are you? I'm usually just like, I'm, I'm way older than you, babe. Don't worry about it. You could also throw in little like hints. You could do the same thing for the ethnicity. You can do the same thing from your age. You can do the same thing for work or where you're from too. So by throwing in the, I'll give you a hint, it makes it more interesting and it actually makes it like a legitimate guessing game. So it makes the conversation actually pretty fun. Now let's move into when we're asking questions. The first thing that I wanna point out is, I have written here BTW, which just means, by, by the, the way. way. If we're talking and I was like, oh wait, how old are you by the way? I think it comes off more genuine. Like I just genuine, like there's more like curiosity behind it. Oh yeah. wait, how old are you by the way? Like it just like loosens the conversation. What you want to avoid is just the simple pattern of question, answer, question, mm -hmm. answer. Right, so all the techniques that I'm giving you here is to try to avoid this framework. Another subtle thing you could do is just start throwing in by the by way, way while you're asking the question. Let's talk about what we could do after she answers the question. I think another way to make it fun. Playfully disagreeing or agreeing. Yes, so typically I like to just disagree with the girl if it makes sense, right? I like to playfully disagree with the girl or challenge her or I'm in disbelief about the answer. No matter what her answer is, you just playfully disagree, yeah. what? No, no, there's no way. I would playfully agree and then give evidence why I think that makes sense and or why I could see that being true. I wanna playfully agree and then I could either provide evidence why I think that makes sense. Or another way is I could agree and exaggerate. I could agree and exaggerate. So let's say I asked her, what do you do for fun? And she, her answer was? Oh, I like to party, I like to go to music festivals. Cool, so I could then agree and give evidence, which would be something like, oh, okay, see that totally makes sense. You have this very like fun, bubbly vibe. I could totally see you at a festival like, you know, just dancing around like all smiles all day. So that would be a way that I would agree plus give evidence about why it makes sense. And then the last one I wanted to point out for these techniques is that you could also use personal input just how we explained here. So if the girl gives an answer and I said, what ethnicity are you? What ethnicity are you, by the way? I'm Moroccan. 
Moroccan, interesting. I've actually never gone to Morocco, but it always looked, I don't know, I thought it looked so cool. Like I watched this music video with French Montana and he was literally in Morocco. You know the song Famous? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you see how I just took her answer and I gave personal input into her answer. And that's just the other way. It's like you could just agree, disagree, exaggerate, or whatever the topic of conversation is, I just start talking about my experience on that on that topic these are a bunch of different ways that you could keep the conversation fun and engaging and make it more interesting for both you and the girl i hope you guys enjoyed this video and by the way if you want to learn more about conversation creating a magnetic vibe that draws women in and attracts them into your lifestyle check out the link in the description to the three keys to mvb it's my brand new coaching program click that link down below or for anybody that's interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one, there's also a separate link you could fill out the application hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, Kyle Frungin signing out. Peace out.